In this text tutorial, I want to talk about how to thread text in InDesign. So I'm going to go to open, chapter five, folder eight, and I'm going to open up this three column page. <clears throat> okay, these are guides. This is not a three column text frame yet. So I'm going to go to my type tool, start up here in the upper left and click and drag a large text frame. Now this is only a one text frame. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to Object, Text Frame Options. We'll set it up to three. There we go. So now my columns match my guides. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna bring in some type. Command D for a document. Right there is Chapter 5, Folder 8. Here's a Microsoft Word file, a text doc. And I'll open that up. Great, bunch of Latin text. All right, so I have that set to, um, it looks like justified type. I'll hit W to get out of that. But man, that's a lot of type. And I wanna put a photo on top of this. Okay, so I'm gonna click outside, hit Command D for a document. And I have these photos, flower pick, Photoshop or flower pick flat and you can see the difference here Okay, when I click on flat it is showing me that there is an outer edge to this photo All this is white space. So if I clicked open and click and drag I've got a bunch of white space around that photo Okay, that's not going to be good because here's what's going to happen this photo covers up my text so I can go to window menu text wrap <clears throat> and right here it says don't wrap text around my photo make the text go right underneath it well obviously you don't want that to happen so we'll just put this off to the side and I'm gonna click this first button wrap around the bounding box so now my text comes down jumps across and continues now in the second column comes down wraps around the box but when I click outside that looks kind of ridiculous with a bunch of extra white space around this photo not exactly what I was looking for so I'm gonna click on this and delete it what I recommend is you bring in an image without a background meaning not a JPEG so command D for a document and I have a Photoshop file. There is no background around this. Okay, I'll click open, click and drag. And you can see there's no background here. If I held option and double clicked, you can see in Photoshop, I have deleted the background. That's my transparency grid. Okay, now my type is still gonna run right underneath this. So now here's the issue. I just put a circular photo inside a rectangular frame. When I click right here, it's still gonna wrap around that rectangular frame. That looks bad. I want my type to wrap around the circle. So I'm gonna click on this and right down here, wrap to, I wanna say the edge. Well, it's not giving me that it's not letting me determine where this is gonna wrap. So here's the trick. I put a circle inside a rectangle. That's, that's bad. So I'm gonna change this rectangle by going to Object, Convert Shape to an Ellipse. Okay, let's see what that does. Click outside, now I click. Okay, there's my boundary. But when I click with my white arrow, it shows me a boundary around this photo. It's still wrapping around this rectangle. So now what I can do is click the third button, wrap around the object shape. Awesome. Now my type wraps around a curve here, here in InDesign. I love that. That's a text wrap. 
So even though you put everything in boxes, you can convert those boxes. It's gonna show me the boundary, but when I click with my white arrow, it shows me the shape. And now I can click the third text wrap, wrap around the object shape, not the boundary, because the boundary extends out to corners. I wrap around the shape because I converted it to a circle. I love this trick. And that creates a nice, unique, organic wrap around my text. Okay, we're gonna be practicing with more text wraps in a later demo, but that's how you do it. And I would practice with this because I can almost guarantee, in fact, I can pretty much guarantee you're going to be asked to do a rounded wrap around a graphic. Okay? So keep that in mind because you're going to see it happen again. Text wraps around graphics.